Hey guys, my name is Amartya Rupani and in today's video, I am going to walk you through number of steps to apply to Express Entry, its fees, processing time, proof of funds and many more. So without wasting any time, let's just start. There are 7 steps that you need to follow in order to apply for Express Entry. But before that, you should check your eligibility at their official website called cic.gc.ca. So it will bring you at their page. So just type Express Entry into the search box and it will bring you at their uh, this page so click it now this is the page where you can check your eligibility by entering all the required information such as age nationality work experience education and other details and these are pretty much straightforward and basic questions that you will have to answer and keep on clicking next to complete the questionnaire and you will receive a reference number if you are eligible to apply for express entry and guys you will be asked to save this reference number because you're gonna need it for the next steps first of all you need to prove your language skills by taking a proof language test it could be either english or french you can write both exams if you want because it will increase your points and for both tests there are two options each it's totally up to you whatever you choose to write however please ensure that the exam you want to write is available in your country and guys the score requirements are mentioned at their website cic.gc.ca in the meantime get your academic documents evaluated by one of these organizations because you are going to need this assessment report in order to make express entry profile the reason they need this report is to ensure that your degrees and certificates are valid and equivalent to Canadian one. And the fees is from $200 to $250 and the processing time is 1 to 4 months. But I would recommend to get it done from West because it has shortest process time as compared to other organizations. And guys, the documents that need to be assessed has to be an official sealed envelope from your university or institute. Step 3 is to find your NOC. It's actually a system to classify your job or occupation. And you can find it from their official website cic.gc.ca and it will simply bring you at the page where you can find your job NOC code. And you will also see different categories of the job. And for express entry, you should have job from one of these three categories that is level A, B or 0. So in order to find your NOC, just scroll this page all the way down and type your occupation in the filter box such as industrial engineer and the code I've got is 2141. So it is just an example just to show you how to get an OC code and this is my code that I will be using for my profile if I create one. NOC shows job titles of each occupation and it also shows the main duties or job description that we perform on daily basis. Okay, at this point, you have your ECA report, NOC code, and language test results. Now it's time to create your profile. And in order for you to create your profile, you will have to make an account at cic.gc.ca. IRCC account is pretty much straightforward to make because they have mentioned each and every step into detail on how to create your own account. And guys, it should be done from option one, that is GC key. So just follow the steps make an account to create your express entry profile i've made a detailed video on how to create express entry profile and the link is given in the description box below you can check it out okay after creating your profile all you have to do is just wait for invitation to apply because during the process time you will be ranked in the express entry pool using a points based system called crs CRS is a point-based system that they use to assess and score your profile and rank it in the express entry pool. Higher the score, the more chances for you to receive an invitation to apply. And guys, there are many opportunities to increase your CRS score that I've mentioned in my previous video and the link is given in the description box below. You can check it out. Okay, while waiting for your ITA, you should start gathering your documents because having your documents ready will make it easier to apply on time now this is the list of documents that will be required to submit your application after you receive your ita and guys you don't have to have job offer letter from canada in order to apply for express entry however it is one of the important factors to have it similarly provincial nomination letter is optional but it is one of the strongest factors to increase your crs score now let's talk about funds or financial information you need to have certain amount of saving in your bank account 
to show them that you have enough money to settle down in Canada. So you will have to provide them proof of your funds. And this table shows the minimum amount that you need to immigrate to Canada. If you have more money, you should list the full amount in your profile or application. Next step is submitting your application or profile. After gathering all the required documents, you will need to scan and upload them in your profile that you created and guys, you will have 60 days to submit it. And of course, you need to pay a fee for this application and guys, the fees information is given in this table and I got it from their official website cic.gc.ca and recently they have increased the fees and the link is given in the description box below you can check it out and this is where you can check the processing time for your country before it used to be six months but now it's been up to 27 months and finally the party time when you will receive a confirmation email from ircc that your visa is ready to be stamped at your passport so all you have to do is just submit your passports with the required photographs at visa office within 30 days. So that's pretty much it for today and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe my channel because there is a lot more coming up for you guys till then. You take care and I'll see you again.